Welcome to another Sunday School Short. Today we are in Matthew 10, walking through the New Testament chronologically as it happened. Don't neglect the reading. This is just a supplement, not a substitute for your time in God's Word. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit the bell notification to get new videos when they come out. Matthew 10. Jesus calls his disciples together, now apostles the twelve, and gave them authority to cast out evil spirits and heal every type of illness and disease. A great way to remember the disciples is six of them, two, three of uh, the pairs had the same name. Uh, you'll see it in different chapters or in different books where they go by different names, and that's okay, because like Simon, Peter, uh, Cephas, all the same person. Okay, so Simon, Simon, you got Simon, Peter, and then Simon the Zealot. James, James. One is James, the brother of John. The other one is uh, James, the son of Alphaeus. Then Judas, Judas. You have Judas Iscariot, which we know who betrayed Jesus. But also Judas and Thaddeus is the same person. And then, so that's six of them. You got half of them down. Then, not that you necessarily need to memorize this stuff, but this is just neat, um, neat stuff. So then you have Andrew, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas. So, cool way to just memorize those. Those are the guys he sent out to cast out demons and evil spirits and to heal um, diseases and illnesses. Go to, all, go to only the people of Israel, he says. The lost sheep announce the kingdom of heaven is near. Don't take any money. Don't carry a bag. That type of thing. Um, when you Don't hesitate to accept hospitality, though. Because those who work deserve to be paid. This is is where we point to take care of your pastors. Take care of those who are in full-time ministry. Don't neglect them. Uh, if a town refuses you or your message, shake the dust off your feet. Um, Sodom and Gomorrah will be better off than them on Judgment Day. Verses 16 through 42, I'm sending you out as sheep among wolves. Be as shrewd as snakes, but as harmless as dove. Jesus continues to warn the disciples of the coming Persecution that they'll see in the courts. They'll be whipped. They'll be flogged. That type of thing. You'll stand before governors and kings. And you will have the opportunity to, to tell them and unbelievers about me, he says. Don't worry about what to say. Verse 19. God will give you the right words at the right time. And Paul says this again later in the New Testament. So please understand that. If you're witnessing to someone, if you're praying through this, if you're praying in advance... God will give you the right words to say at the right time. To give someone wisdom, to speak godly wisdom into their life. Know that he will be the one speaking. And it says that following. It won't be you, but it will be the Spirit of the Father speaking. Verse 22, all nations will hate you because you are my followers. 26, don't be afraid of those who threaten to kill you. Uh, for a time is coming when everything that is covered will be revealed. And 28, don't be afraid of those who want to kill you, kill your body. They cannot touch your soul. Fear only God who can destroy both, by, both body and soul in hell. Verse 32, anyone who acknowledges me publicly here on earth, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. A great memory verse. 33, but anyone who denies me here on earth, I will also deny before my Father in heaven. And in 37, if you love your father and mother more than me, you're not worthy of being mine. And it goes on to say sons and daughters and that type of thing. Not all family members may be walking with Jesus. And certainly not at the same maturity level. Everybody's at a different spiritual maturity level. And Matthew 10 closes talking about take up your cross and follow me. If you cling to your life, you'll lose it. But if you give up your life for me, you will find it. All of these verses speak to getting your priorities straight, your eternal priorities. Don't cling to leisure or family or money or power or whatever else that's a struggle in your life that you're putting before Jesus. Use all these things, your family, your money, all these things to publicly declare Jesus to others. Hey, like, subscribe, and share. Get in God's Word. Don't neglect the reading. This is just a small glimpse of what I read. God bless you. Have a great day.